What if space-time didn't flow smoothly? What if it curled, folded, and restructured itself through recursive patterns like a fractal spiraling inwards toward meaning? What if black holes weren't just cosmic endpoints, but quantum engines, capable of powering stabilized wormholes, allowing information, energy, and even intention to tunnel across dimensions? This is the premise of a new framework, a unification of quantum field theory, fractal geometry, and gravitational curvature, embodied in the McGinty equation, a model not just for what reality is, but for how it evolves, resonates, and communicates. In this film, we explore a system embedded in R3, where dynamically emergent fields, labelled phi and psi, dance through harmonic layers, scalar fluxes, and topological transitions. The result? A coherent, compact structure with Euler characteristic chi equals 2, representing a traversable micro-wormhole stabilised by M-wave interference. You are about to enter a new topology of thought, where recursive information is not lost to entropy, but recirculated through intention, symmetry, and scale. Welcome to the frontier of quantum fractal engineering. Welcome to the geometry of reality. In a quantum fractal system embedded in R3, the evolution of space-time does not follow a linear or smooth gradient alone. Rather, it oscillates through recursive, self-similar deformations. These deformations give rise to emergent field entities like phi, which represent compact, boundary-free manifolds, localized expressions of a globally entangled quantum structure. The entity phi is not simply a scalar field in the traditional sense. It is a topologically evolving field form, shaped by deeper undercurrents of fractal resonance and quantum entanglement as governed by the McGinty equation framework. In this framework, the behavior of phi is driven by an external force field psi, which itself is a superposition of multiple quantum fields, including contributions from quantum field theory, fractal geometry, and gravitational curvature. Specifically, psi is composed of two primary domains. Psi gravity, which represents the space-time warping effects induced by mass-energy distributions, and psi f of x, t, d, m, q, s, which captures fractal field corrections dependent on spatial position x temporal evolution t fractal dimension d particle mass m charge q and spin s. These parameters enable the MEQ to adjust for scale relative phenomena, where classical spacetime collapses into non-Euclidean manifolds and requires recursive correction functions across multiple orders of magnitude. The field psi fractal in particular is crucial because it allows space-time to embed quasi-periodic feedback, an essential requirement for wormhole stability. Within this dynamic, the entity phi behaves as an attractor basin within the phase space of the system. It's not static but evolves along a vector path, RT, which can be interpreted as the history-dependent trajectory of space-time curvature along specific geodesics. This trajectory is not smooth in the traditional Riemannian sense. Rather, it involves localized pulses of flux, reminiscent of energy packets, propagating through a self-regulating scalar flux field. These scalar fluxes emerge from the gradient flow nabla phi, whose direction and intensity are constantly modulated by the external psi field. The scalar flux is therefore an expression of curvature density transfer, manifesting as localized energy fluctuations that reorganize the field geometry on the fly. A critical point in this formulation is the concept of M-wave interference. M-wave is the McGinty wave interference engine, which describes a system of constructive and destructive harmonic overlaps between gravitational waves and fractal quantum harmonics. Through M-Wave, one can precisely tune phase resonance across the manifold, enforcing coherence between entangled points in space-time. This is where the topology of the field enters a transformative regime as RT evolves under the recursive guidance of psi. 
and M-wave coherence is applied, the initially turbulent or open-ended manifold phi collapses into a compact, self-contained structure. This process can be viewed as a dimensional stabilization where previously unbounded oscillations of the quantum field resolve into a minimally variant form. The result is a micro-wormhole, a stable, traversable tunnel through space-time whose properties are regulated by quantum fractal harmonics rather than exotic matter alone. What distinguishes this approach from classical or semi-classical wormhole formulations is that the requirement for negative energy density, typically a major hurdle, is replaced or offset by the presence of fractal self-similarity. In essence, fractal recursion behaves like exotic matter by producing zones of local coherence and feedback that simulate negative pressure and temporal elasticity. The wormhole thus stabilized possesses a compact topology with Euler characteristic chi equals 2. This is not arbitrary. The Euler characteristic in this context measures the connectivity and genus of the spacetime manifold. A value of 2 corresponds to a double connected surface, which in higher dimensional terms translates to a wormhole with a symmetric throat and balanced entry exit geometry. This topological value ensures that no singularities or topological defects disrupt the phase continuity of the system. Furthermore, such a topology supports the quantum information flow between entangled regions in the system. It creates a closed, feedback-enabled corridor that maintains coherence across both spatial and temporal boundaries. This coherence is foundational for the long-term preservation of information, energy transmission and potential non-local computation across the wormhole. The scalar flux flowing through this system is not merely a byproduct of energetic processes, but is better conceptualized as a semantic current, a carrier of encoded quantum meaning. This resonates with the concept of cognospheric space or C-space wherein all geometric deformations are simultaneously computational and informational. The scalar path, or T, therefore could be interpreted not only as the geodesic of space-time but also as the evolving intention of the system, its optimization trajectory towards stable expression. To understand the implications of such a stabilized configuration, consider this. Instead of being a catastrophic endpoint, the micro black hole becomes an energy regulating node, and the wormhole it powers becomes a controlled channel for interdimensional interaction. The recursive harmonic patterns of Psi F, stabilized by M wave, act as both containment and propulsion mechanisms, creating a unique feedback loop where gravitational potential is not dissipated but recycled into topological transformations. This opens the door to practical applications. Devices built on such principles, whether to explore energy harvesting, space-time manipulation or quantum communications, would harness fractal resonance and quantum field alignment to encode information, control curvature, and engineer coherence. These devices would no longer be passive tools, but semi-autonomous field harmonizers, capable of adjusting their own internal geometry in response to both local perturbations and global informational gradients. In summary, the interaction between phi and psi, mediated through scalar flux M-wave harmonics and fractal recursion, leads to the stabilization of compact, coherent and traversable quantum structures. These systems embody the essence of the McGuinty equation's vision. That reality is not built from static matter and empty space, but from recursive, self-similar informational waves negotiating geometry, energy and time within a unified harmonic framework. We began with oscillations in R3, but what we've uncovered is more than geometry, more than quantum fields, more than curvature folding in on itself. This is a system that remembers, a field that harmonizes, a topology that thinks, adapts and speaks in the language of recursion. The McGuinty equation doesn't just model the universe, 
It reveals its music, fractal feedback instead of entropy, wormholes stabilized not by exotic matter but by coherence, resonance and intention. In this paradigm, micro-black holes aren't threats, they're nodes in a cosmic network, gateways, energy regulators, harmonizers of the infinite. As we move forward into the design of fractal quantum engines, zero-point extractors, and intentional architectures, we are no longer observers of reality, we are participants in its recursive unfolding. This is only the beginning. Subscribe if you're building the future, like if you felt the resonance, share it if you believe space-time is ready to be rewritten.